at last, Darlington Hippodrome is open! Oh, we should probably use the proper title. The new Hippodrome and Palace of Varieties is open! Oh, oh, oh. Are you excited? Hiya, 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 eh? I know I am. I've been watching it. I've been watching it being built less than a year. It took to make it out of all of that lovely Middlesbrough red brick and that great tower, 63 feet tall, and the wrought iron and glass veranda all the way around the outside that keeps all of the theatre goers dry and people like me that drive the hackney carriages and sometimes handsome cabs as well. Oh yes, I drive one of those horse-drawn beasts. I'm just around the corner actually based on Borough Road opposite the hay cutters and the cycle makers. And if you are a bicycler, cyclist, then you can indeed park at the theatre for free. But why? Why would you go on a bicycle? Why would you go and risk the rain if you get absolutely soaked on a bike? No, 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 no. Far better to go on a cabbie journey like me. It's going to be transformed all that area around Parkgate. Now that it's wider, there'll be cabs and carriages all over the place. An absolute great place to build the theatre as well, just down the road from Banktop Station, close to Darlington Toon Centre, which I reckon is going to be totally and utterly transformed by the presence of the new Hippodrome and Palace of Varieties. Oh yes, opening night... 2nd of September 1907, I picked up from the theatre at closing on one of the people inside the cab left their one penny programme. And there were so many adverts for local shops and businesses. There was uh, adverts for uh, doctors and hairdressers and furniture makers and drapers and jewellers. Even the Lord Nelson Hotel and the Cricketers Arms were advertising good stabling. So if you're lucky enough to have your own horse and cart, you can come down have an evening to Darlington, watch some shows at the Hippodrome and then stay over at a hotel or public house and have a lovely breakfast the next day. You might even be able to read one of the papers like uh, The Stage or The Era that some of them are getting in that tell you all about the actors. And don't worry, if you can't afford to go to the theatre all the time, there's a free show on, on Parkgate, every Sunday. Yeah, that's when the actors arrive. That's when they come down from Banktop Railway Station, haven't gotten the train in. They all come down the hill, all of them with their props and their fancy costumes and some of them with their performing animals as well. It's a free show all of its own. Although, I was talking to one of the actors in my cab the other week and they said that the train they're coming on is a bit sticky. It smells of fish. It's the one that comes over from Grimsby with the fish supplies. Yeah, some people are calling the train of fish and actors. Of <laughs> fish and actors. Although, I've heard that that train is the place to be and the actors have a whale of a time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. I've stopped with the terrible fish puns. I've just been very well schooled in them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. No? No. Oh, all right then. Well, never mind. Maybe I'll just stick to cab driving. Look, either way, it's going to be a fantastic place to be, Darlington. Now, the new Hippodrome and the Palace of Varieties will change it all for everybody. If variety is the spice of life, then a Palace of Varieties is going to make a great season for us all.